Hello my dear friends, this is our lecture number 22 on the topic numerical problems on thin cylinder. This is our unit number 1 in mechanics of solid subject and our subject code is 1625303. We are solving the problem based on thin cylinder. My name is Sudhir Kumar, a lecturer in mechanical engineering from James Polytechnic College, Aurangabad, Bihar. Let's see our question 1 like this so questions I will write first question for you a cylindrical pipe of a diameter 1.5 meter a a cylindrical pipe of diameter A cylindrical pipe of diameter 1.5 meter and thickness 1.5 centimeter and thickness 1.5 centimeter is subjected to is subjected to an internal fluid pressure of an internal fluid Pressure of 1.2 Newton per millimeter square. 1.2 Newton per millimeter square. So, what we have to find? Determine first one longitudinal stress developed in the pipe. Longi Tudinal stress developed in the pipe and the second one is Circumferential stress developed in the pipe. Circumferential stress developed in the pipe. Understand? So first of all, what we will do, as we do, first we will write our given data. Understand? So first of all, we will start with our given data. What are the data are given in our question, which will be useful for us to solve numerical problems. So what are the data are given? Yes, diameter of pipe is given. Diameter of pipe is given. So the value of D is equal to 1.5 meter. Then what else is given? Thickness, understand? Thickness is given. So the value of T is equal to how much? 1.5 centimeter. So what we have to do? We have to convert 
centimeter into meter. So what we will do? We will divide by 100. So 100 will come up. Then it will become 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Okay. Then what else is given? Internal fluid pressure. Internal fluid pressure is given. That means P is given. How much? 1.2 Newton per millimeter square. 1.2 Newton per millimeter square. So these are the data which are given in our questions. First of all, diameter of the pipe D is given 1.5 meter. The second thing is Thickness T is given 1.5 cm, so we will convert cm into meter. So 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Then third thing is internal fluid pressure is given. How much? 1.2 Newton per millimeter as well. It is given. Understand? So now what we have to do? Now what we have to do? Now what we have to do? Uh, first of all, we have to find longitudinal stress developed in the pipe. The second thing is we have to find circumferential stress developed in the pipe. Now, we have to find a question in Hindi. A cylinder pipe, which has a diameter 1.5 meter and a thickness 1.5 cm. It is subjected to an internal fluid pressure. How much is it? 1.2 Newton per millimeter. We have to find what we have to Longitudinal stress developed in the pipe. और सरकमफ्रेंसियल स्ट्रेस कितना डेवलप होगा उस पाइप में उसको पता करना सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डू आवर सॉल्यूशन एक्चुअली एज वी नो दैट द रेशियो ऑफ टी बाय डी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 and what is the value of D? D is 1.5. Understand? So 1 by 100. So the ratio of T by D is 1 by 100 which is less than 120. Which is less than 1 divided by 20. Understand? Here's Hence, if it is less than 1 divided by 20, then it is thin cylinder. Hence, it is thin cylinder. Okay. So now what we have to do? Now we have to find the longitudinal stress. One more thing I will tell you, here the unit of pressure is in Newton per millimeter square. So, the unit of sigma stress, circumferential stress and longitudinal stress also will be in Newton per millimeter square. Understand? So, please keep these things in your mind. So, we will start to do our solution one. The longitudinal stress. The longitudinal stress okay so what is the formula for longitudinal stress we know that Longitudinal stress equal to P into D divided by 4 into T. This is the formula. Understand? So now what we will do? We will put all the values in our formula. So, so it will be equal to 1.2. Into 1.5 divided by 4 into 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, 
please put in your calculator. So we will get as 30 Newton per millimeter square. 30 Newton per millimeter square. That means longitudinal stress value. Longitudinal stress will be equal to 30 Newton per millimeter square. One thing you have to always keep in your mind. Here the unit of pressure is in Newton per millimeter square. That's why the unit of circumferential stress and longitudinal stress also will be in Newton per millimeter square. Now it's time to solve the second, second problem. Already we have got the longitudinal stress value. Now we have to find the circumferential stress value. Okay. Circumferential. Sorry. The circumferential stress value we have will find. Sigma C. Okay. So what is the formula for circumferential stress? We know that circumferential stress Sigma C will be equal to, what is the formula? P into D divided by 2 into T. Understand? This is the formula. P into D divided by 2 into D. This is the formula for circumferential stress. Don't forget it. And what is the formula for longitudinal stress? P into D divided by 4T. So now what we have to do, we have to substitute all the values in the formula. Understand? What we have to do, we have to substitute all the values in the formula. So when we will put all the values in formula, we will get as, how much we will get? Sigma C is equal to 1.2 into 1.5 divided by 2 into 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. Please put in your calculator. What will the value of sigma c? So, if you will put in your calculator, then we will get as 60 Newton per millimeter square. 60 Newton per millimeter square. So, we got the value for circumferential stress as 60 Newton per millimeter square. So, we get as 60. circumferential stress value sigma c is equal to 60 Newton per millimeter square. Understand my dear students? Actually, in this question, they ask us to find longitudinal stress as well as circumferential stress. 
एक बार फिर से हिंदी में लिखने जा रहे हमारा क्वेश्चन कुछ इस प्रकार से कह रहा था एक सिलेंड्रिकल पाइप है जो एक पॉइंट पांच मीटर का है डायमीटर और थिकनेस वन पॉइंट पांच सेंटीमीटर का जिसको इंटरनल फ्लूड प्रेशर वन पॉइंट टू न्यूटर पर मिलीमीटर का लग रहा है हमको क्या फाइंड करना है पहले हमको फाइंड करना है लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस और दूसरा हमको फाइंड करना है सरकमफ्रेंसियल स्ट्रेस तो हम लोग सबसे पहले लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस फाइंड किए उससे पहले हम लोग चेक कर दिए कि ये थीन सिलेंडर है कि नहीं है तो थीन सिलेंडर चेक करने का क्या तरीका है यदि P और D का रेशियो यदि हमको 1 बाई ट्वेंटी से लेस आता है तो उसको हम लोग थीन सिलेंडर बोलते हैं फिर हम लोगों ने लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस फाइंड किया कैसे फाइंड किया लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस का फॉर्मूला क्या है पी इंटू जी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इंटू टी हम लोग सब वैल्यू जानते थे सबको डाले पता चल गया फिर दूसरा हम लोग को फाइंड करना था सरकम फ्रेंसियल स्टेप उसका फॉर्मूला क्या था सिग्मा सी इजकल टू पी इंटू डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू टी तो हम लोगों ने देखे यहाँ पे सबका वैल्यू डाला सारा वैल्यू को डाल करके हम लोगों ने क्या आया फाइनली हमको सरकम फ्रेंसियल स्टेज का वैल्यू हमारा कितना आया सरकम फ्रेंसियल स्टेज का वैल्यू सिग्मा सी इजकल टू सिक्सटी न्यूटन पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर है मुझे विश्वास है आपको ये प्रॉब्लम अच्छा से समझ में आया होगा I hope you all must have got a clear concept about the thin cylinder problem. Thank you. So, if you want to gather more knowledge about the particular topic or particular numerical problem regarding thin cylinder, then you can refer these two books. First book is Strength of Material by Dr. R. K. Bansal. Dhanpat Rai and Sons Publication, and the second book is Mechanics of Solid. by rs khurmi and sn publication so i will prepare you mechanics of solids book because their language is very simple and the, all the data and all the knowledge is very effective so please go through this book if you want to gather more knowledge about the particular topic i hope you all must have got a clear concept about the numerical so this was our lecture number 22 topic numerical problems on thin cylinder actually we are seeing all these things in mechanics of solid circuit so my name is sudhir kumar a lecturer in mechanical engineering from james patin college aurangabad bihar thank you